Uh, welcome to lesson three. Uh, we're going to talk about who is involved in the planning, design, management of urban forest. So my name is Cinnamon Dobbs, and I work as an assistant professor in urban and community forestry at University of Connecticut in the United States. So I wanted to start saying that there has not been a most exciting time for enhancing the role of urban forests in cities. There's a wide recognition of the benefits of forests towards urban resilience, climate mitigation, health, and well-being. We have most of the evidence to justify the planning of urban forests, and several cities are committed to increasing canopy cover, improving forest health, and better distributing urban forest. But urban forests are not longer about just management. And uh, we need to shift into strategic planning where decisions are thought for the long-term benefits are validated by multiple institutions and by the community, strengthening its capacity of surviving political cycles. The involvement of different stakeholders in the planning of urban forests can increase the likelihood of improving their benefits. Institutional commitment requires not only having the funding to support all the actions involved in the planning, but also requires having the adequate team, partnerships and collaborations for a successful implementation of the plan. Think of what decisions are needed within your planning and include the appropriate personnel and resources to make it successful. Think of the other departments that might be involved in the success of implementation, such as transportation, water management, parking, health departments, to mention some of those. Support for urban forest planning not only derives from public institutions, but the community has a large role to play. Co-design approaches to planning can better address environmental justice by addressing recognitional justice and procedural justice in the planning of urban forests. Recognizing the different values in the community for urban forests can help us better capturing those when deciding species to plants, forms of planting of management or trees, including in the design, the diversity of community needs, and knowledge can better provide ecosystem services to improve health and well-being so the natural component in urban areas can feel safe and accessible and pleasant and joyful for all, including marginalized groups usually overlooking planning. Participatory processes should be embedded in all stages of planning, design, and management of urban forests, and NGOs are good allies to work towards this objective. Participation of NGOs have mainly focused on the tree planting activities related to urban forest planning, but there are opportunities beyond for them to support the planning. Industry partners are not to be missed. Working table with nurseries and foresters and agriculturists, landscape architects, urban planners, developers, among others, can provide a better transdisciplinary understanding of the needs and constraints of urban forests for developing at its full potential in urban areas. Planning also requires incorporating, evaluating how we are doing. Consider the incorporation of indicators or metrics that are easy, meaningful, and replicable to follow up on plan implementation. This will allow to revise actions and approaches towards improving the urban forest and will allow to adjust accordingly. The participation of multiple stakeholders can also create a common understanding on urban forest planning, design and management that hopefully take us to have healthier and long lasting urban forests that is gonna be better to enhance human health and well-being in cities. Thank you.